Hello everybody, this is the Benjinator, and you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier, A Cells' Quest Part 6. So I was unsuccessful in getting Miserthyme back to my party. Uh, so I have a feeling that I have to fight yet another boss with the Cellus before I can do any of the fun stuff like go in the rune quest or get Miserthyme. But the good news is I did spend a good time, spent a good amount of time leveling up. Granted that these are not all the characters that you want to be powerful. White Rose, as you can see, is actually at 300, 621 HP and has some pretty nice uh, stat boosts. But we won't be able to be using her for the entire game, which is a shame. Uh, but fortunately, our main characters like Acellus and Loot and uh, Rouge, we will be able to use. And Thunder, we're going to try to get loose right away. Um, so I should just show you a little bit what's going on with Acellus. She has all these pretty nice uh, sword techniques, even Double Gale Slash. But one thing I should mention too is that with the, she has the ability to equip Mystic Sword, Mystic Glove, and Mystic Boots. Um, and so of course, when you're fighting boss battles, uh, especially later in the game, you want to be able to equip those abilities and to absorb various monsters. Uh, ideally, by the end of the game, we're going to be wanting to get to Suzaku, uh, the, the Phoenix Bird, on all of these, so that way she experiences the stat boost. Now, one thing I should mention about Acellus is that she will not be able to benefit from these stat boosts until you're actually in battle and she experiences what's called Mystic Change. And you've seen this in Red's video. That's when she kind of gets her hair all frillied up and that's when she can experience those Mystic abilities. But until that point, she's just got kind of her base stats. Uh, so basically, what you see here is what it'll be until you experience the stats themselves. So obviously, we still have a ways to go. But this is a this is one of the weird aspects of Acellus' quest is that essentially you have a series of boss fights that appear these bosses will appear in specific locations um, and sometimes they'll show up and sometimes they won't uh, and there are very specific screens where these bosses can show up so I will try to show you a couple of these locations. And remember that you don't have to necessarily go to every single one because there's actually one Wakatu that we can't actually get to because we initiated the rune quest. Uh, but there are certain places that you have to cycle through um, in order to achieve, basically in order to get these, these boss fights. So actually one is in Kurong right here and I'll show you where that is in just a second. So I'll be right back. All right, so here's the first location right here. It's actually the uh, one of the first entrances to the back streets. Uh, in Kurong, and uh, so there's a possibility that you could be fighting a boss here, but as you can see, uh, nothing's happened. You'll know immediately if you're going to be fighting somebody, so just uh, understand that. Anyway, so the next place we're going to be going to is actually in Shrike, so I'll meet you there. Oh, actually, uh, never mind. Um, so I made a slight mistake. Uh, it's the other, it's the more southbound Kurong entrance, and as you can see, uh, there's a little message at the top that says, I won't let you get away. So that's how you know you're going to be fighting a boss. So it's the south one that that leads to Dr. Nusikon's place. So that's a possible place to fight somebody. And now it looks like we will. So let's get ready for a boss fight. So this is actually kind of cool uh, because you get to kind of choose your background. And so now we're going to be fighting another one of these knights. Uh, we fought the Fire Sage last time. And so this is going to be uh, the, what is it, the, the Water Sage. So we'll see what happens with this guy. All right, this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, we're actually fairly overpowered for this point in the game, because uh, you know I think the they, the programmers sort of expect that you're not going to be super boosted at this point, but we are, which is good. So yeah, uh, 5,000 damage right there. Water cannon, not going to do much. And so now another level two combo. Uh, this guy should not take long. He's not that much more powerful. And, oh yeah, Grim Reaper time. Love it. So. Okay, so he's got some HP on him. Not bad. He's probably a little bit more powerful because at this point in the game, you actually have the ability to explore and to level up, which is kind of nice. So we will uh, hopefully defeat him in this round. Because as you can see, our speed's actually quite good. Ooh, locks the kitty. That's too bad. Flash fire. Don't exactly know why I did that. Woo! And now we should be able to finish him off with... Yeah, ground hit with the Trisaur Jr. is actually quite powerful. Yeah, and there we go. Not too hard. So, Water Sage is dead. And we will be able to benefit. Yay! But one thing to keep in mind is that 
Uh, once you've fought one of these bosses at one of these particular locations, uh, the chances are pretty low that you'll fight another boss in that same location again, so it's always good to cycle through, which is always a good thing. So I'll be able to show you a couple more backgrounds. All right, there we go. So that one's dead. I have to watch out for that bird. Okay, so I'm gonna check a few things, and uh, I'll see if I can actually initiate those those rune quests and go to Tanzer and, and so forth. And if not, I'll show you a couple more locations. So I will be right back. All right, so here's another known place where you could actually encounter a boss. It's here at Say's Tomb. Uh, this is actually a place that I will be showing off in. Uh, well, just a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is actually will be a place that I'll be showing off um, in a Celsus quest. So this is a side quest that you can do with anybody, uh, but I will be showing it off in this particular uh, journey. So anyway, uh, nothing here. Uh, move on to the next location. I'll see you in Devon. All right, so here we are at top at the uh, the shrine in Devon, where of course we have our our good friend, uh, the space magic lady. And actually, yeah, she she actually says that uh, you have a foul stench, which is a little bit different. Oh, okay, so we get some extra dialogue. This is actually kind of cool. Hmm. So yeah, you get to do your regular stuff with here. She's kind of cranky. And then uh, White Rose is a little bit confused, and uh, that's a little bit suspicious. So wait, this is another possible place that you can actually fight a boss, just so you know. Um, so make sure to cycle back here every once in a while if you're looking to fight these bosses. And uh, next, I will be going to Kyo, so I will see you there. All right, so here we are in the garden in, in uh, Kyo, or Kyo, however you want to call it. So this is probably one of my favorite places to fight a boss, possibly, just because, uh, you know, the background here is pretty gorgeous. And when you actually have a battle screen, as you saw when you fought uh, Metal Black in Red's Quest, it's, it's a pretty cool background. So if you get to fight somebody here, that's pretty awesome. All right, so now we're going to check out Yorkland, our next uh, stop. So I'll see you there. All right, so here we are in the swamps where you get the uh, the Grail card of Yorkland, another place to possibly fight somebody. Uh, as you know, of course, those eyes are lizard types of fairly strong beasts. If you feel like leveling up here, just a, a short reminder. Uh, and so there actually is you can actually go to Luminous as well, uh, and I'll show you where you can possibly fight somebody there. Fortunately, you don't have to go inside the uh, the Luminous Labyrinth or Omble or anything uh, to possibly fight somebody, but if, you, if you're cycling through and you want to go to Yorkland, you can come here as well. So I'll see you in Luminous. Uh, and here we are in Luminous once again. So this, this, this screen right here is a possibility for fighting, uh, so just keep it in mind. Uh, if you do actually fight a battle here, it's just kind of a black background. You don't get any of this cool, you know, stalactite cave type stuff, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, now we're going to be heading to Baccarat, because there's another location uh, somewhere that is actually quite familiar. So I'll see you there. All right, so the parking lot of Baccarat is another area where you could possibly fight somebody. So if you get the opportunity to do that, you'll have that nice, you know, parking lot background, like when we had uh, Al Kaiser taking on uh, some Black Cross fiends. All right, so now that there's, uh, I believe there's one more location that you can actually try to fight somebody at, and that is in Shingro. So we'll be right there. All right, so here we are at the secondary ruins in Shingro. And this is one of the other places that you could possibly fight a boss. And this is actually the last one that I know of. Um, I'm fairly sure that you can also do it in Wakatu as well, but that's really, really hard to get to. And I think in the uh, the basement of the Lord's Manor in Omi, you can, you can do that as well. But, you know, this is about seven or eight locations that you can possibly fight bosses at. And if you go through an entire cycle and you don't find anybody, just start from the beginning again. Uh, so this is kind of a weird mechanic of a Celsus quest, that you're essentially waiting for these enemies to come to you, which is, it's kind of annoying, it's a little bit lazy, but I, it makes things at least a little bit interesting. So anyway, I will keep cycling through until I get to the next boss, because I really want to be able to push this quest forward, so I will see you when I encounter a boss. Alright, so I've been through three full cycles, gone to all those locations three times, and I have not had any luck, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this particular episode, uh, go to GameFAQs, see if maybe I'm doing something wrong, make it a little bit more efficient, but hopefully next time we will be able to fight uh, the next boss. So this has been the Benjinator with Let's Play Saga Frontier Celsus Quest, and I'll see you next time.